Here you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad I could help. That's one of the things I enjoy about this job, the way Walmart Associates can really make a difference in someone's day. I also love that the people in this store are like a second family to me. We really pull together to take care of our customers and each other. It's not just a place to get a paycheck. No matter how big the company gets, this place is special to us. It's special because of the people. And we all work here for different reasons. Some, like me, want a steady, secure job with benefits and a safe work environment. Some want to get promoted and go on to long-term careers with Walmart. Some just need a part-time job. We have senior citizens and we have students working to pay for school. You know, it's kind of amazing when you think about it. I mean, all of these different people with different goals, and yet somehow it all works. I guess that's what our founder, Sam Walton, had in mind from the start. You know, you're just beginning your career with us, and it's hard to grasp everything that's available to you, like great benefits and a really friendly and fun place to work. Well, just see for yourself. A job at Walmart is a good job. In fact, there's no retail company that offers more advancement and job security than Walmart. Almost 70% of our managers started out as hourly associates. Plus, Walmart jobs are flexible jobs, giving associates the opportunity to balance our personal life with our work life. Even better, Walmart associates also have the opportunity to become shareholders and owners of the company through the associate stock purchase plan. Mr. Sam strongly believed in the philosophy of partnership with associates, and the stock purchase plan is just one of the ways that his philosophy continues today. I never thought that I could be a shareholder in a company like Walmart, but here I am, a Walmart shareholder. And you know what? I'm not the only one. It's true, I'm a proud shareholder too. And that's just the beginning of the great things you'll find at our company. Now, it doesn't matter where you work, whether it's in a Walmart store, a Sam's Club, a distribution center, or any other division, you've made a great choice to work for Walmart and we're glad you're here. But the reality is, you're not the only one looking to get your foot in the door at Walmart. Now, you might have heard stories on the news, read about it in the paper, or seen it on the internet, but labor unions are really interested in Walmart and have spent millions of dollars specifically focused on us. Now, I think you know by now that our company prefers to have open and direct communication with our associates. We don't think that a labor union is necessary here. And because our associates have said time after time that they don't want a union, we usually don't spend a lot of time talking about them. But as a new member of our team, we do think you need to know this. In recent years, union organizers have spent a lot of time, effort, and money trying to convince Walmart associates to join a union, all without any success. Now, while they've been trying to convince associates to join their union, at the same time, they've been spending big money trying to hurt our business. And they've been telling customers not to shop in our stores and clubs. I don't get it. How would it make sense for associates to join any union that wants to damage our reputation and drive business away from our doors so associates don't get ours? It just doesn't make sense. Funny thing is, I always thought unions were kind of like clubs, you know, or charities that were out to help workers, right? Well, I found out that wasn't exactly the case. The truth is, unions are businesses, multi-million dollar businesses that make their money by convincing people like you and me to give them a part of our paychecks. So you have to wonder, are they really just interested in the welfare of Walmart Associates or is there something more at stake? Here at Walmart, our associates are used to having a voice in their workplace. Our company has always supported an open door policy and we're used to having our voice heard for free. Look, I was a union member at my last job. Everyone actually had to join the union in order to work there. The thing I remember most about the union is that they took dues money out of my paycheck before I ever saw it, just like taxes. Believe me, joining a union isn't something I ever want to do again. Here you can get ahead based on your own performance. It's one of the main reasons I chose this company. I'm in control of my own career. With a union, you put that control into someone else's hands someone who might be motivated by something a little more important to them than your career advancement. You see, unions get almost all of their money from monthly dues, initiation fees, and assessments against members. Because union membership has dropped over the years to less than 8% of private employers, unions are fighting to survive. And with the size and scale of our company, you can understand their interest in Walmart. It is a business. And where does Walmart stand on all of this? 
Our philosophy is simple. We are pro-associate. Here, all associates are free to talk openly with their leaders. I'm completely comfortable sharing my ideas and concerns with my leaders, and I know that they really listen to what I have to say. By using the open door process, I'm encouraged to speak for myself. I speak on my own behalf. And frankly, I don't think Walmart associates should have to have someone to speak for them. It's just not that kind of place. But Walmart understands that not every workplace is like Walmart. That's why our company doesn't criticize people who belong or have belonged to labor unions. We know that many associates belong to unions and former jobs. At some companies, the employees have no choice and have to join a union just to keep their jobs. And we understand that. We also know that most union members shop in our stores and clubs nationwide. I talk to them all the time and I hear them complain about their jobs and their union representatives. I can tell you that every job has its ups and downs and a union can't change that fact. I look at it this way. With what we have here, I'm not willing to trade it for a union that doesn't know anything about me or my goals. Today, if I have an idea or concern, I speak directly with my supervisor, and I'd much rather deal with things that way, one-on-one. -on -one. When a union begins to push their agenda, union organizers ask associates to sign authorization cards or petitions. Union organizers might say that giving them your name and address doesn't mean much. They might tell you that it's just a simple way for you to get more information about the union, or they might even promise you things like free health care or wage increases just to get your interest. It's not hard to imagine how far a union organizer might go to get you to sign their card. Don't be fooled. Your signature is very valuable. She's right. Your signature on an authorization card or petition is actually a legal document that can be used to bring in a union. If a union gets enough signatures, you may never even have a chance to vote. What your signature really means is that you give the union the right to act for you and make decisions for you on workplace issues, whether you agree with them or not. And once you give them your signature, you may never be able to get it back if you change your mind. Walmart can't tell you what to do. Whether you give someone your signature is always your decision to make. But you need to know how serious it is. It's hard to think that one little signature can be so important, but in today's world, your signature means a lot. To be honest, I don't like handing my signature over to anyone, much less to unions who seem to be spending so much time trying to hurt my company. My signature is too valuable for that, and so is yours. We've got a great thing going here. Great benefits, job security, career opportunities. It's important to remember, signing a union card isn't just about you. You could also be affecting the people who have worked here for years and enjoy Walmart for the same reasons we do. People like me. And me. And me. We've all found a home with Walmart, and we're glad that you've joined the team. Good luck with your new career. And we hope that you never have to deal with a union organizing drive in your facility. But if you do, we hope that this video has given you the information you need to stay in control of your valuable signature and your career. Welcome to Walmart. <laughs>